Oh, look at that colour. Look at that gorgeous charring. And the colour, look at that colour. G'day, I'm Chewy. Welcome to Smoke Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be making some Korean flavoured asado beef ribs. Now, there is some prep work involved, because ideally these should be marinated overnight. But trust me, it is well worth it. So, let's get into it. Unlike normal beef ribs, where the bones are still intact and they run the full length of the ribs, Korean short ribs are cut across the bones and also sliced to only an inch thick, giving the final product a totally different texture to slow cooked beef ribs. What sets Korean barbecue apart from others is their unique flavors. So rather than smothering these ribs with a beef rub and then smoking them for hours, let's make up a tasty Korean marinade. Into a food processor, we want to add one cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of honey, one Asian pear, roughly chopped, a quarter a cup of mirin, a quarter a cup of brown sugar, one onion, roughly chopped, in that goes, a small piece of ginger, roughly chopped, throw that in, spring onion or green onion, just the white bits, they can go in, hang on to the green bits, we're gonna use them later on. Six cloves of garlic, roughly chopped, all of that in there as well, teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of finely cracked black pepper, two tablespoons of sesame oil, and one cup of water. And just give that a good mix up. And just give that a good mix up. What the f*** going on? Oh, <laughs> and put the lid on and it'll work. Now that we have our marinade made up, it's time to soak our ribs. I say for at least overnight, 24 hours is even better. You can really cram a lot of flavor into these ribs the longer you leave them. Now you can use a large container or even a Ziploc bag. All you wanna do is put your ribs into it. So just pour the marinade in and give it a good mix. Making sure all the ribs are covered, this can go in the fridge overnight. Make sure to shake the container, or if they're in a Ziploc bag, flip it a few times. Don't stress over it, just every time you think of it. Once or twice is fine. Maybe every time you grab a drink out of the fridge, go and give this a shake or flip the bag. Now, remember the part to the green onion that we didn't use? Now it's their turn to shine. We're just gonna slice these up thinly on a diagonal angle. It makes absolutely no difference in taste. It just looks a bit fancier. And then just throw them into a bowl for later on. I need to be cooking over a direct high heat today. So I've opted to use my flat top grill. Now I'm not gonna use the solid plate. I'm gonna use the grill section. So just turn on the liquid charcoal and I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. Now, if you're using a charcoal grill, you're gonna to wanna to be cooking directly over that hot charcoal. All right, it is time to get these ribs out of that marinade. Now, don't stress too much about excess marinade left on these ribs. Look at that color. The ribs have absorbed so much marinade and the aroma is incredible. I cannot wait to get these on the grill. Okay, the grill is nice and hot, so it is time to get these ribs on that barbecue. Just lay them across the grill, and that sizzle is what you want to hear. Now, there's no need to oil these, because we already had oil in that marinade. Now, we'll give this side about three, four minutes to cook away. It's been nearly four minutes, so it's time to flip these ribs, and let's give that other side some searing. All right. Oh, look at that colour. How good does that look? Yum. The smell coming off these is absolutely incredible. We're going to let this side sear for about four minutes as well. And once we're happy with the color, they can come off. 
And these are ready to come off the grill now. I prefer when making Korean asado beef ribs, I take them a little bit past medium. So push them just past 150 degrees Fahrenheit, anywhere up to about 160. Look at that gorgeous charring. That is what you want. Now, remember, these are hot. Although they smell incredible and you want to dig straight in, you need to resist that urge just for a couple of minutes. So just grab the garnish and give them a good sprinkle of the green onion. And then just grab yourself a fresh drink and allow them to cool down for that minute or two. I think that's long enough. The smell is driving me crazy. You can either pick up a whole rack or just cut it into bite-sized bits. No matter how you do it, you'll be happy regardless, as that taste is absolutely awesome. Mm. I mean, look at all the moisture that that's got in it. And the color, look at that color. Mm. There's absolutely no wonder why this style of cooking is one of my favorites. The ribs soaking in that marinade for so long take on so much flavor. Now, if you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website that has a wealth of barbecue knowledge. Cheers, and thanks for watching.